In this video, I'm going to show you how to create grungy ink bleed effects using displacement maps. First step is setting up your Photoshop document. I've got my text layer within a folder. A texture is a clipping mask onto the folder. I've used a folder so that we can clip this texture to multiple text layers. Here I have a levels adjustment layer just so we can increase some contrast and a threshold that we'll use later. A couple extra layers of texture here. And then finally a selective color adjustment layer just to boost some of the cyan in my highlights. For this video, I'm gonna be using my Displace Photoshop plugin. It's a plugin that allows you to create and edit displacement effects in Photoshop. If you're trying to create this effect using the standard Photoshop filter, that will totally work too. I prefer to use displays because it gives me the ability to create and edit my displacement effects. It's a lot easier to work with, saves a lot of time. If you don't have displays, you can get it through the link in the description. Otherwise, like I said, this will work with displacing the old fashioned way. If you're using Photoshop's built-in displace filter, what you can do is click filter, distort, displace, set your amounts and your options here. Once you hit OK, the file picker will come up, and this is where you choose your displacement map. Anytime you displace a layer, you're going to have to go through this process, so keep that in mind for this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my text layer. I'm going to create a displacement effect with one of these noisy displacement maps. Clicking this button in displace will convert my layer to a smart object and add a displacement smart filter to it. Now I can adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement. This is going to start adding a noisy displacement to my text layer. If you're displacing the native Photoshop way, this is going to be the same. You can set your amounts right within the displacement filter interface. I'm gonna make a couple copies of my text here, and I'm gonna have some displacement going in the positive direction, some going in the negative direction. That way, when I lay these two layers on top of one another, I get distortion effects going in both directions. Once I have my displacement amounts right about where I want them, I can start shifting my layers over so that they're aligned with one another. Once you have something you like, you can convert it to a smart object, or in my case, I'm going to merge both my layers together. Here I think I want to add sort of a warped scan effect, so I'm going to grab one of my scan displacement maps and start increasing the vertical amount. Now I don't want the entire text layer to be distorted like this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through to find a scan that I like, and once I'm set on it, I'm going to create a mask and get rid of some of the areas that I don't want to see the scan effect. You can see I've created a second copy of my text and I'm removing the scan displacement effect from it. Now I have a layer that's completely clean, other than the prior noise displacement we've added to it. I'm going to go back to my scanned text, readjust some of my amounts until it's somewhere I like, and then I'm going to flatten my layer. Transform it to place it somewhere that I want it to be, and then I can apply a mask and start removing areas of this scan that I don't want to see. I just want some of these scan effects right at the bottom, so we'll get rid of some of the top here and then merge my two layers together. I brought this photo of these thorny branches into Photoshop and I'm going to use displace to turn this into a displacement map. Clicking on this button converts it to a usable displacement map, puts it right there in the plugin panel. I'm going to hide that, go back to my text layer. Now if I select my newly created displacement map, I can do the same as before, increase my horizontal or vertical displacement. You can see I'm getting a pretty cool looking grungy distorted text here. Now we can either stop here and use this as our final version, or if you want to push it a little bit further, you can do a little bit harsher of an effect. So I'm going to turn the threshold on. As you can see, I've made a copy of my layer as well and flattened it. And I'm going to grab my blur tool. You can see as I come around here and I apply blur to certain spots that I want to see smudged together, this is going to give us our signature ink bleed effect. Our threshold filter is the key here. It's converting everything below it to two tones. We're going to have a fully white and a fully black. Using the blur tool we can get some pretty sweet ink bleed effects. You can get the same effect across your entire layer if you use a blur filter. It doesn't allow you to be as accurate as the blur tool or the smudge tool would let you be, but if you just want to apply an ink bleed across the entire layer, this might be an easier option. Anytime you combine blur, texture, and threshold in Photoshop, you can usually get some pretty sweet ink bleed results. 
but I find that processing my text with displacement filters beforehand usually leads to more interesting results. In this example, you can see that I've used displace to add some displacement effects to my text and then apply to blur. Now I'm going to rasterize it and go back and add more noise to it. Even adding just a little bit of noise displacement is going to work wonders for my text. In this final example, I'm using a scan displacement map to create a scanned effect on my text. I'm going to select my map, choose the one I like, adjust my amounts till my text looks interesting, and I'm going to use a different type of blur this time. I'm going to go into the field blur under the blur gallery. This filter allows you to place multiple blur locations across your layer. That way you can create strong blur effects in some parts and lighter blur in others. Once I'm satisfied with the blur, I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to go back to my text layer and I'm going to apply some noise displacement. We'll do a little bit in the positive direction, make a copy, and do some in the negative direction. Layer these two on top of one another. And this will leave us with a pretty interesting result. Now I can use my blur tool again, as well as the smudge tool. The smudge tool is going to lead to some more dramatic effects than the blur tool. You can use the smudge tool to almost draw incomplete effects across your text. Combine any and all of these techniques in this video, and you're going to come out with some pretty cool ink bleed, some pretty cool grungy text effects. If you're looking for an easier way to do this in Photoshop, there's a link in the description to download Displace. Displace comes with 60 displacement maps and seriously saves me so much time. I have a full video showcasing how to install and how to use Displace, so if you're interested in learning more, you can check that out. Otherwise, like I said, there's a link to Displace in the description, and you can go check out the product there. I have a free bundle of displacement maps, which there is also a link to in the description. You can go download those, try them out, and if you like them, consider getting the full pack or consider getting Displace. That's pretty much everything. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.